Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. Oh, that horse dump is glistening. I bet that's worth a little bit of money. Let's see how much. So, um, I made a video oh, a while ago now where we found out how much money you could make from breeding cats. Turns out it was quite profitable. Outstanding quality horse manure, that was. So I thought for today's video we would do something similar. We would find out how much money can you make from breeding horses. We're going to do it in a, a different way though. I'm going to follow a different strategy to last time because when I did the cats video, I started with a full household. So I had um, my human sim. I had one male cat and then the rest were female cats. So I, I started off with three females, got them all pregnant, sold all of their babies. And that kind of worked with cats because they have like a litter. But this time we're going to try something a little bit different. Oh, yeah. This You might actually recognize this sim. This here is Daphne. She's the sim that woohooed with the help. Yeah, we still got a great relationship with George, our little ranch hand. In fact, I think that's him coming over now. So this time we just have one male, one female. And I think I'm going to start off by getting the ball rolling. I'm going to go wake up Virginia and have her try for a baby with Randall. Yeah, this time instead of having like six female horses ready to be impregnated, I think it would be better to see how we can like expand the family by doing this. So what I mean by that is... The baby that these two horses have, I'm going to sell and then use that money to buy another adult female horse and then have two pregnant horses at the same time. And then when their baby is sold, I'll buy another adult female horse, have them to have a baby and so on. So we're going to kind of do it that way. So I think the real key here is to try and build up a strong relationship with Randall so that going forward I can get him to mate with any female horse so let's see how far we get with like a week of trying to breed horses see how much money we end up making so it's currently 9 p.m on saturday so we'll play through seven days and i think a good way of telling exactly how much we make is if i give her 500 just to cover costs of like food and things like that and what that means is that the amount of money i have left in my sims bank account by the end of the week minus 500 simoleons will tell me how much money i've made from breeding horses encouraged to breed okay so first things first let's get one pregnancy underway randall go Go have it off with Virginia. I've seen the way you look at her. Oh, he's saying no. He doesn't want to. Oh, come on, Randall. Don't be a dick. She's got such a pretty flower crown. Go and breed with Virginia. Right, I'm going to keep my eyes on him and see if he breeds like I've asked him to. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, he listened. Or did he? I didn't see any, like, love hearts or anything. Okay, well, apparently they've already attempted to breed. So I think I'm just going to have to give... Oh, she loves it. Look at her little eyes closing. So I think I'm just going to have to give Virginia a little bit of time to find out if she's pregnant. I mean, really, I can't do anything until the baby is born and ready to be sold. I don't even know how to sell a horse, you know. I'm guessing I can do it at the equestrian centre. But hopefully the baby sells for enough money to buy another adult horse. So yeah, I guess we'll just wait and see. I think it's about six hours from when they mate. So maybe 5 a.m. we'll check and see if Virginia's pregnant. Well, it's 6 a.m. So if she's pregnant, we'll know it by now. Oh, Virginia is already pregnant. Oh, good for you, Virginia. Let's give her a hug, scratch her neck a little bit. Good on you for getting pregnant. I do have MC Command Center installed and I'm not getting any options when I click up on the horse. I wonder if horses can have twins. I don't know. Well, for now, um, I'm just going to have to wait. Just wait, I guess, for Virginia to go into labour. This is one of those uh, slow challenges, I guess. It just involves a lot of waiting around. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll just hang around and wait and see. Is that another outstanding quality pile of shit there? I don't want the goats eating it. Normal quality. Oh. All right, Virginia, will you just let me know when you go into labour, girl? Hmm, it's already, like, half seven Monday morning. Virginia hasn't gone into labour yet. Oh, this chicken is, is filthy. And he's escaped. Are you running away? Okay, their little pen is dirty, so I'm going to have to go and clean the coop. I'll try and get all the chickens back in, and I think they're all running away. 
I'll scatter some food nearby as well. I think all of my little chicks are, are really unhappy and they're like trying to make a break for it. So I'm going to see if I can maybe convince them to come back and that life is good here. I don't want my little chickens to run away. There we go. They're all coming back and they all seem pretty happy. Okay, that's good. God, Virginia, come on. I feel like last time I did this, last time my horse had a baby, it took like one day. But this is taking ages. Whenever you're ready, Virginia. Oh, here we go. Virginia's finally going into labor just as I'm cleaning up my little sheep. Soothe horse into labor. We gotta do that. We have to. Don't get too attached now, Virginia. As soon as that thing's born, it's going straight up for sale. Honestly, where the fuck is my ranch hand? Why am I have to clean all of these animals? What am I paying that bloody ranch hand for? I would like to know. I've got another chicken running away, but that one seems kind of happy, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, I need to wash all of my goats now. Clean all dirty goats. And i got to think of a name for Virginia's baby. I don't want to give it, like, a cute name or anything. Take that shit. Take that poo. Straight from the horse's asshole. I can't really give it, like, a nice name because I don't want to get attached to it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We'll call him Income. Hello, baby Income. How much is Income worth? Please be a thousand. <gasps> yes. Okay, great, great. That is good news. Right, Virginia, please do not get... Do not get too attached to income, all right? He's got to go. Now, I'm not too sure how I sell the horse. <gasps> sell horse. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry, Virginia. He's barely wobbling his way through, but, you know, are you sure you want to sell income? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Bye-bye now, income. Enjoy your new home. Right, so I'm going to use that thousand simoleons, and I'm going to go buy myself another mare. Okay. Purchase a horse. What about Mayo? She's a bit defiant, but she's an adult and she's a female, so let's go for her. Welcome to the family, Mayo. She looks exactly like Virginia. I'm going to have to try not to get them confused. Right, let's take you home and see if I can get both my female horses pregnant. Okay, where's my stallion, Randall? Let's see if we can encourage to breed with Virginia. And then, encouraged to breed with Mayo. You are one lucky horse, Randall. Two in one day. Don't say I don't treat you, okay? Oh, I think Mayo's coming on over. She is ready. I think Virginia sort of turned her nose up. I don't think she was as keen. She's just kind of walked away. Randall has attempted to breed recently. Okay, I've got to give him a breather then, have I? So who was it that he bred with? Was it... Was it with Mayo? Yeah, Mayo was the one that he breeded with. Okay, I'm not sure how long I have to give Randall, though. I don't know what... I don't know what the courteous thing to do would be. Is two hours long enough? Three hours? I mean, just because he's already attempted to breed, I mean, I would have thought it would be, like, five minutes. He's a young stallion. He's not an elder horse. Still, no. Still have to wait. Oh, how long? How long do I need to wait? And if, if Mayo's not pregnant... Then we'll need to try that one again as well. What if I try and go through Virginia? Would that be possible? Encouraged to breed with Rand. Okay, what if I try using her instead? Oh, okay, I think that worked. I think that worked. Does it come up as an option? Virginia has attempted to breed recently. Okay, perfect. So I just, I just shouldn't use Randall all the time then. I should try and go through the girls. Um, any news on you, Mayo? <gasps> She's not pregnant. Oh, Randall's greyed out. I can't breed with him yet. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit until Randall's ready to go again. You know what? That might have been a problem. Maybe I should have got more boys. I just kind of figured, you know, with one one stallion, that would be plenty. How about Virginia? Is she pregnant? Please tell me she's pregnant. Virginia has already attempted to breed. Yeah, okay. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually starting to think that it's not going to... I'm not going to be able to make that much money from breeding horses. You'd be better off. If you're looking to turn over some profit, you'd be better off breeding cats. Yeah, still can't. Still can't breed with Randall. God. All right, well, Mayo is breeding right now. I can see that. How about Virginia? Any news on Virginia? I know that she can get pregnant. I think I see a little belly there. Come on, Virginia. Oh, no, she's not pregnant. Oh, so she's going to have to go twice as well. Let's hope. Let's hope that Mayo is up the duff now. 
but now I have to wait several more hours before I can even get Virginia to try and breed. Oh, what a life. Oh, Mayo is already pregnant. Okay, great, that's one pregnancy done. I'm guessing Randall is still not ready. No, still not ready to breed again with Virginia. Okay, but that's good though. That's one pregnancy underway. Let's try you two again. Oh, see, I'm now wondering when I get my next two fowls, I'm now wondering whether it's worth getting two more girls or a girl and a boy. Because if I, well, if I have three females and two boys, I think I'm going to have to do it that way, you know? Because if I got four girls, there's just no way Randall would have time to get around to all of them. Why have you placed a lump of shit in your living room floor? Have some fucking self-respect, Daphne. Oh dear, look at the state of that chicken coop again. Oh, these chickens, they're just, it's never ending taking care of them. I don't know why I got a chicken coop. And my mini animals are gross again too. You must be ready to try for a baby again now, surely. Oh, still no. How? How? How is it taking so long for you guys to get ready to breed again? Seriously. It's been hours since you last attempted to breed. Okay, there we go. Encouraged to breed with Virginia. Perfect. Now let's hope that this time we make a baby. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now we'll just give it a few hours and we'll wait to find out if Virginia is pregnant. At this rate, it looks like it's taking two attempts per pregnancy and that's just not, not good. I wish I could see their little family trees though. That's a shame that I can't see them. Oh yes, Virginia is pregnant too. Okay, okay, so now we just wait. We wait for these babes. Oh, I think Mayo's going into labor, Sooth Horse into labor. I think it's gonna be a few hours yet though before we get Virginia's baby. But you know what? It might actually end up working in my favor to have a bit of a gap between them because what I could do, if this one is ready to breed again, encourage to, okay then what I could do is I could get another female as soon as this baby's born. Where did Mayo go? Where's Mayo? Oh, she's hiding behind a tree. Oh, here we go. I think the baby's being born. Yeah, we'll just sell this baby straight away and then we'll go and get another female and see if we can get the new female horse pregnant and that way Randall will have babies by three different horses. Little baby tax relief. Right, don't get attached. Oh, congratulations on the birth of Taxes getting a unique breedable trait of playful. Oh, he looks just like his dad. I hope he's worth the same. A thousand simoleons, okay, great. Okay, we're gonna go sell tax relief. Sorry, sorry tax relief, have a good life, enjoy life on the farm. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna go and buy a new horse. So that's 2,000 simoleons we've made so far. Okay, purchase horse. Hmm, I think Daffodil, Daffodil and Blondie. They're the only real options, but it's annoying because they look quite a lot like the horses I already have. But okay, I guess, I think, I think actually Blondie's a little bit darker than Mayo and Virginia. I just don't wanna have three horses that look identical. Okay, here we go, little Blondie. Actually, yeah, no, she does look quite different from the other, from the other two. All right, let's take Blondie home and see if we can get her knocked up. This family is expanding, man. Right, I'm gonna have a word with Randall and see if he wouldn't mind having a little breed with Blondie. We gotta get her used to the ranch life, get her knocked up as soon as possible so she knows how we do things here. Okay, that didn't really take much um, encouragement. There we go. Are they actually gonna breed? Well, I think they did. I didn't get the little love hearts, but yeah, it just says Blondie has attempted to breed recently, so... Alright, cool. Well, Virginia, as soon as you have your baby, we'll get a boy, and then we'll impregnate Maya, and then we'll impregnate Mayo again. Clean that chicken coop again. I honestly don't know where my ranch hand is. I thought I had him, like, on schedule. Do I have to call him every day? Your hired work... Your hired ranch hand will work every day from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Well, I'd hired him before, but he hasn't been turning up. I think because we got busy in the cow shed, I think he thinks that he can just come in, come and go as he pleases. Is there, can I see if Blondie's pregnant yet, I wonder? No, don't know if she's pregnant yet. Okay, fine, fine. 
Well, I can encourage Randall to breed again, so I'm guessing Blondie wasn't knocked up. So I think let's get him to breed with her one more time. And hopefully two is enough. Mayo's having just just a day off from... Oh, Father Winter just came and stroked my cheek. Weird. Oh, Virginia's gone into labour. Okay, okay, cool. Soothe horse into labour. Be cool if I could get three pregnant horses at the same time. Oh, we've got amazing... Oh, we've got good compatibility with Father Christmas. Too soon to ask Randall to breed again? Yeah, too soon. Okay. Oh, I think the baby's being born. Oh, another, another baby boy. More money. Quite a lot of shit around here. I'll start picking some of it up. There we go. Just clean up. Got to take some pride in your ranch sometimes, you know? Okay, there we go. All right. More money. Well, it was uh, great meeting you, but I think it's probably time we send you off to the meat house. Aw, poor Virginia. She barely got to give him a cuddle. All right, let's 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 go buy ourselves another horse. Take some of the weight off of Randall's shoulders. Ah, I can't purchase a horse until 7 p.m. Fuck's sake. Okay, well then I'll try and get Randall to impregnate at least one of the horses before then. Still too soon for Randall. So right now I only have one pregnant horse, which is the new one. So I guess you guys just do what you want until 7am, unless I can get Randall to breed at some point before then. Okay, I can get him to breed now. Go and breed with Mayo. How's that bed doing? Oh, it's still clean. I don't think any of the horses are using their bed. <laughs> Wait, is Blondie pregnant? I don't think I actually checked as to whether she was or wasn't pregnant. Oh no, she isn't pregnant. Oh, so I still have no pregnant horses right now. Okay, well then, I think it's probably time we go straight to that equestrian centre. We need another boy, quick stat. Purchase horse. So this time we'll go for a boy. Um, let's go for Dash. There we go. I mean, I don't think I can get all of my female horses pregnant anyway because I don't have room in my household. Okay, let's um, let's give Dash a hug. Let's try and be friendly. See if we can build up a strong enough relationship to encourage him to breed. Encouraged to breed with... Oh, Mayo is already pregnant. Okay, great, great. Well then, let's get you to breed with Blondie because she hasn't had a baby yet. Is it still too soon to ask you to breed again? Yeah, still too soon for, Brand for Randall. All right, let's just keep asking this one to breed. Oh, I think he's... Uh, I think they are breeding. Are they? Sometimes the hearts pop up, sometimes they don't. It's hard to tell. Okay, I think we better spend a little bit of time with this one, with Dash, because he seems a bit scared. So I might just try and chill him out a little bit. Okay, now let's see if we can get Virginia pregnant. It probably won't work because I already will have a full household, but, you know, let's see. Let's see. I think Randall seems happy to oblige. I think Virginia might be his favourite. He's always happy to breed with Virginia. I think he just likes her flower crown. Oh, All right, well now I guess we wait. We wait for some pregnancy pop-ups. Okay, well, Virginia is already pregnant. Mayo is already pregnant. And Blondie can't have a baby because the household is already full. It's already Thursday, so I'm kind of wondering what my next move is going to be. I mean, I wanted to see how much money I would make from breeding... Oh, there we go, Virginia expecting a fowl. I wanted to see how much money I would make from breeding horses. But all of the money, really, that I've made, I've spent on replacement horses to give birth. And given that the household is already full, I'm kind of thinking... I mean, Dash was only really a temporary thing. If I sold Dash, then I could potentially get Blondie pregnant again. So I'm wondering whether that might be the smartest thing to do. And then I could always buy another boy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Dash fulfilled a purpose. He got one of my horses pregnant. That's the main thing. Oh, she's maxed the dancing skill. Well done, Daphne. Didn't realize you'd invested that much time. Yes, we will sell Dash. He's not required anymore. And then it looks like Randall is good to go again. So let's... Randall, encouraged to breed. Oh, okay, I have to wait for Dash to disappear. Okay, breed with Blondie. And let's see if we can get three pregnant horses at the same time. Oh, look at the state of that coop. All the time. Okay, I think they're going for it. 
All right, well, they've attempted to breed, so all I can really do now is wait for either one of my horses to go in labor or wait for the pop-up to say Blondie's pregnant. I guess we'll see. Okay, Mayo has gone into labor, and so far she's the only one. All of the other horses are pregnant, but you know, I think this might be the last round of pregnancy for this video. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any of them knocked up and giving birth by tomorrow night. But you know what? We started this experiment with two horses. We started with Randall and Virginia, and those are the horses we're gonna end this experiment with. So all the other mothers are gonna be sold, and then we'll get like a true reflection of how much we have actually earned from breeding horses. I don't feel like it's really been that much. Definitely not enough to warrant all of this effort, I think. I think, yeah, I think Mayo's giving birth. The other two aren't even in labor yet, but Mayo's baby's being born. I'm just gonna randomize these names. And I think this time, seeing as there really isn't much point, oh, there he is. Seeing as there really isn't much point in getting any more adult females because we're not gonna have time to breed those. I think we're just gonna keep the babies in the family until they're all born and then we'll just sell them all. Oh, Virginia, Virginia's gone into labor now. Go and soothe the horse. It's go time. Okay, we'll randomize again. Oh, we have a girl for the first time. That's the first girl we've had. Congratulations, Virginia. Okay, so now it's just Blondie. It won't be too long now, I don't think. Oh, honestly, I keep getting pop-ups saying that my goats and my sheep are thinking of leaving because they're not happy. Where the fuck is my ranch hand? I have not seen him this whole time to take care of these mini critters. What is he doing? Taking a fucking liberty is what he's doing. All right, well, it's Saturday, the final day. The attitude on this horse. He was not happy about being woken up. Oh, finally, Blondie's gone into labor. You have taken your sweet time, Blondie. Oh, here we go. Oh, Daphne, don't become friends with the babies. You're only gonna be upset when we sell them later. Another girl, Frosty Lance. And there she is. Oh, she's even got a little saddle, bless her. Okay, well, moment of truth. So far, I mean, we started off with 500, so technically we haven't even made over a grand yet, but we're gonna sell the babies first. And where's the other baby? Yes, we want to sell Turtle. Oh, there's the other one, Drover. We'll go wake up Drover. And then Mayo, Mayo is also due to be sold. Bye-bye Mayo, bye-bye Drover. Um, Randall was here at the beginning and Blondie also needs to be sold as well. So we have three horses to sell, we'll be left with two. Yes, we want to sell Drover. Yes, we want to sell Blondie. Okay, that's everyone, isn't it? We're left with two and we have 6,000 simoleons. We started off with 500, so we've made 5,000, well, approximately 5,650. Bearing in mind, it's cost like a, a few simoleons to refill feeders and stuff. But roughly about five and a half grand, which is quite a lot of money. I don't know really that it's worth it though. I'm not sure it's worth dedicating an entire sim week to breed horses because there are so many other things you could do with this time to make money. But I suppose it's quite a useful thing to do in the background if you're running like a full ranch and one of your horses just happens to get pregnant, then it could be a good little extra income. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.